So I, I presume what we have there, Tony, is kind of maybe seasonal machines. You know, if you cater for a lot of devices in the hospitality industry, obviously summer months, they're, they're you know, they're all the machines online, you know, winter months, you know, the hotel may even shut down for a couple of months. For example, the, 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 the hotel reception desks, for example, won't need a full complement of check-in devices as well. So it's quite a common scenario. So, I mean, depending on how many devices you have, there's a couple of ways you could approach this. Uh, you could do it manually or you could do a manual attack where you're going to, you know, all devices and we're finding, you know, the devices in question and we're going to do uh, some ad tasks and under patch management, you have, you know, a patch detection on demand and then you could do a patch on demand and that would just schedule a one-time only session. But you may have a situation where um, where the devices uh, you know require multiple installs and reboots to actually catch them up uh, fully to speed as such. So in that scenario, excuse me, you could actually create a patching rule which is very aggressive, uh, and and you target those devices with that patching rule as well. So you might use your patch setup uh, configuration wizard, click on create an, a new wizard. You probably don't need to change anything in terms of your, your patch profile. Uh, you know, you can just use your, your default one here. Um, or alternatively, if you are creating a new one, we'll just call it you know, emergency patch, for example. So no pop-up windows, uh, no uh, communicating externally to a probe or anything. Just go straight to the web, get the updates. Don't run them, don't run patches if they're offline because we're just going to target this to run every few minutes. Uh, limit the uh, and central activity to Windows update only, and wake the device from sleep or hibernation state. So general settings there. And then what we can do is, you know, we can do multiple detections uh, during the day, so you can actually add time in here. So you can do this, you know, hourly, for example, and repeat every two hours, and we can start that at you know 0900. Uh, you know, again, you can do uh, the pre-download. We don't. We can even skip because we can just pull it down as part of the installation. And then we can choose when we want the installation to take place. So we might choose uh, to run it hourly, for example. Uh, we'll set the maintenance window to 60 minutes, and then we can repeat it every hour. We can start that, you know, at 0900 hours again. And again, you can do every day of the week. So now you have a really aggressive installation process as such. And then again, you can configure your reboots. And then you can obviously tie this all together so you can target uh, you know, generic mach machines or alternatively what you could do is you could use a custom property like we did a moment ago for like, the program levels uh, and, and call it emergency patch uh, install or you know, update you know, uh, patch device, update machine. Um, you know, and then with them dropped into that filter, they'll obviously fall into that category being brought up to speed and then afterwards you can pop them back into the normal schedule window as well so you can manually approach it by obviously selecting devices patch detection on demand patch installation on demand reboot for example or you could create an aggressive patch installation with a rule that does it you know regularly throughout the day until we get those machines green and up to date as well 